Imagine more people, more children were taken into care on the basis of economic issues, housing and, and money, than were taken in total in relation to abuse issues. Now, that tells us something really, really frightening about this present moment when the state's resources are under pressure, when family resources are under pressure because the state is on their backs trying to take back every penny it can to pay off the speculators. We have now, in the 50s and the 60s, we had this appalling spectre of the cruelty man who came to Irish homes from the NSPCC trying to earmarking children to, to bring them into institutions, into orphanages and so on. In the present era, we have the possibility of an even more frightening spectre the austerity man, who will come to your house and look around at your economic circumstances, look at your fridge to see is there food for your children. And if you fail, fail in this, under this heading, your children will be taken into care. This is the appalling vista that we now face if we allow this amendment to pass. And you know, John, parents, once they lose their authority, don't even have to fail. In this wording, they have to be likely to fail. Right. So someone loses a job. Maybe the fridge still has money in it because they've still got some savings. But the austerity man decides that they're not going to be able to keep the fridge full in the future. Yes. They're not going to be able to keep paying the mortgage. So we should take the children now while they're young enough to adopt rather than wait till they're older and not as adoptable.